All right, for those of you looking for a less lethal method of self-defense, which if you're not looking for something like this, I think you definitely should consider it because you might win the gunfight and lose the lawsuit. All you need to do in most cases is just subdue the assailant. You don't need to murder them for life, and I know it's not murder, but the point is you could ruin your life and your family's life if you use deadly force when it actually was justified in your opinion, but not in the eyes of a jury or a judge. So here is the Berna SD, and SD I believe stands for self-defense. I'm in San Diego, I don't think it's a San Diego model. So Berna SD, and this is a launcher they don't call it a gun because it's not a gun they call it a launcher of these projectiles and what it is is a way to defend yourself or your kids or a loved one using these hard projectiles which also offer the option of pepper so you can use it's almost like OC spray it's a combination of several materials several compounds it has OC and it will immobilize someone temporarily, um, not in the way that a gun will, not in the way a taser will, but it uses kinetic energy as well as the OC spray to immobilize them because the way pepper spray works, if you're not familiar, is that it basically immobilizes you, not every time and not every person, but by overwhelming your sinuses, your mucous membranes, so you really can't see, you can't function. So even without the pepper just using the regular plastic projectiles these are very hard and they have up to a 60 foot range and this would allow you to provide enough space between you and your assailant to presumably get away now you have up to five per cartridge and you per magazine and you can have obviously multiple magazines and they're powered by this eight ounce co2 cartridge which screws in like this and then you just put the cap back on and that's good for 25 rounds and it comes with a pretty handy little tool here to screw it on until it's flush and unlike you know airsoft guns where you don't want to leave the co2 installed because it'll break the seals this is fine to leave at the ready so you only puncture it when you pull the trigger. Right now it's on safe, so it shouldn't fire. Hopefully it won't. See, it won't. If I put it on fire, it presumably will, so I'm not gonna do that, because I don't wanna go viral for being an idiot. And this also has a decent sight system. You can add laser, you can add uh, a flashlight, and it's made by Berna. So I'll put a link. I think you can still buy it on Amazon. It's pretty freely available and freely carried. You don't need a permit, you don't need a license, at least not yet, so get up all you can. And you know, after you've fired off your five, you can drop the mag, put in another one if it's already ready, put it in and you're good to go. And then after 25 rounds, you would pop out the CO2 cartridge and replace it. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know, because I'm trying to figure out the identity of my YouTube channel. <laughs>